Hey everyone, how are all of you doing and welcome back to Kiana Lebesjaar where today I built a vineyard which is also the habitat for the Western African lion because nothing can go wrong when you drop lions into a vineyard. I mean you won't really have any issues with spies trying to find out how your wine is made and if you had a problem with that, then that problem is gone and also you don't really have to feed your lions that much anymore. I'm not saying you should feed people to your lions, but uh, that's probably basically what's happening on this vineyard at least. But before I actually get into the building ramble, I wanted to basically have you guys guess what the next habitat is going to be. Because after building Rapunzel's tower, I first of all I wanted to have this more fairy tale like vibe with the palace. And then after building Rapunzel's tower, I basically abandoned that. So I wanted to go back into that, but I'm going to have you guys guess what the next habitat is going to be then. And all I can say is small. That's not really giving you any tips and it doesn't really have to go about the animals, about the size of the habitat. It's more probably about the build that's in the habitat because so far every habitat that I built has one build that is like the focus of the habitat. So for the vineyard today or the vineyard building, well, the vineyard building is the main focus. And then last time it was the barrel maker, then before that it was Gaines Manor. I have really been building a lot of manors lately if I look at it. But yeah, what is the next habitat going to be? Thinking of fairy tale and small. I'm just going to see what chaos I unleash right now, but... Anyway, with that being said, so drop your answers or your guesses down below in the comments. But with that being said, let's talk about the vineyard or the chateau or just the vineyard building as I'm going to call it from now on because it's not really a chateau but it's somewhat of a manor but also not so vineyard building is just what I'm going to call it from now on. But I try to make this building actually look well basically like it's built up that it's not completely planned out that it basically was built up over generations so it started out small and then basically just extensions got added more wings were added to the build and then then well basically you end up with a little bit of a positive chaos because there is of course that's you build something up and it's so chaotic that you can't really see what it is anymore. Which is always something that I try to avoid. I always try to make sure that you can still see like this is this. And it's not like what the hell is this. But I wanted to make sure that it feels like it was built by different people over different generations. But also that it is in the same style as the barrel maker. So the barrel maker and the vineyard building actually have the same style, which is actually completely different than the style of the actual palace. Because the barrel maker and the vineyard building are referenced off of Anno 1404, which again, I'm just going to say it, I still think it's the best Anno game in the whole series. Even like the later games, I, well, don't really care too much about. I mean, Anno 1800 was good, better than the, the one before that, I would say. But uh, yeah, I don't really like anything after like the Renaissance, or at least I, uh, I think the eras afterwards, for me at least, are a little bit boring. But basically, the Barrel Maker and the Vineyard Building are referenced off of, well, what's called the Orient in Anno 1404. And I like those buildings a lot. I heard, or at least I read, because I don't talk to people, but I read that they were referenced off of like Turkish buildings during that era, or at least Ottoman Empire, which of course, well, I think around that time was huge. So yeah, there's a lot of also, I would say, generic Arabian slash Islamic architecture in there, which again, sets it actually apart from the rest of the royal palace of Bashar because the royal palace of Bashar and Kane's Manor or as it's otherwise known the Tortoise Manor are referenced from the Alhambra in Spain which never saw Ottoman rule I mean it well, basically saw Spanish rule after it was conquered but well 
this basically means that we have these two different building architecture styles which are very near to each other but are from well basically the other sides of the mediterranean compared to each other so i try to make this work by having some similar features going on throughout the buildings and yes i'm still talking about those horseshoe arches because those are actually still taken from the alhambra and this is just something i tend to do but i well first of all i build a feature and i got get obsessed with it i mean you can see that with the barrel maker and the vineyard building they're the same styles so i just made up a story that is historically i think feasible but yeah i basically got obsessed with a feature but i always also try to have that sort of cohesion going on with the buildings so that if you have one building let's say here and then one building over there it doesn't really stand out that much they sort of blend together very nicely because you usually have or at least i usually have like features that are the same color schemes that are the same i mean basically with the vineyard building the barrel maker both have these blue-ish tints to them and this is actually where i went wrong with the vineyard building because if you looked back i think at like well the very start of the video i built those arches those well are they horseshoe arches i think they were but i had those blue stones above them because i got obsessed with that blue tone and i luckily did change that afterwards because it kind of took over the entire building but anyway before i go further on with that i actually wanted to ask you guys another thing because what i'm building right now i have seen in buildings in real life and also anno 1404 i mean this building is referenced from anno 1404 but I don't really know actually what it is. It's meant to be on the roof. I built it off the roof because it's a little bit easier to make. But it's basically just a half cylindrical thing that is on the roof. Sometimes there are windows in there which make me think of like, oh, this might give like interesting lighting inside. And of course it can also be like for decoration inside because you have these like, well, I just see it as like the inside of a dome as well. like. You have this area that you can like cover in let's say mosaics or paintings and such or just paints, murals, anything. But I actually personally don't really know what it was for. It also somewhat just well, just reminds me of a cylindrical thing, like a tube or something. But anyway, so I want to also, of course, because I'm a squirrel, I'm really just curious how many new people are here and have no idea why I'm referring to myself as a squirrel and again I love Gale so I'm not going to say it but uh, yeah I'm just really curious but I also wanted to of course build a tower just to again add height to the building without adding too much volume yeah I also just try to have more of like the same materials going on as with the barrel maker and really after the release of the South America pack I really have loved these temple wall pieces and this is one thing that I'm always I wouldn't say I am nervous or well how do you say it doubtful when it comes to like my buildings but I always use like grid pieces because well I think my buildings usually have already too much pieces so if I made like custom walls it probably would be well let's just say it would kill my computer but then I see other people who have like, well, non-grid buildings and I'm like, I feel so bad right now because all my buildings are essentially blocks. They are essentially just blocks. And then I just mix and mesh them so that you don't really see that there are blocks, but in essence they are. I usually don't really add too much round bu building parts or something like that. Occasionally I do that, but very rarely. Most of the time... They are blocks and this still works with like the architecture styles that i'm working with i mean arabian slash islamic architecture are now sort of turkish but also just general like arabian architecture most of the buildings are blocks if you look up from, from the sky well from the sky well there's the mispronunciation of today but if you look from down from like the sky most buildings are blocks i mean not even in just arabian but most buildings because blocky square rectangular buildings 
are just the easiest to, well, first of all, build, but also furnish, because let's face it, how many furniture stores do you find that have actually furniture suited for round buildings or round walls? Most of the time you have to have those things made custom. Also on this tower, just going back into the building, just like that. But also on the tower, I of course added a dome. Because it makes the building look 10 times better, I would say. But yeah, it was sort of like, how can I make it so that this dome outshines the barrel maker? Because the barrel maker had a dome, but then that dome also had like hints of gold in it and this dome doesn't. So what did I do? I just made it bigger. I mean, that's just a general thing with everything that I built. Everything that I touch just gets bigger. Yeah, let's move on from that quickly, because that can be interpreted very wrong out of context. But anyway, again, going with the same color tints with like this sort of, what is it? I just call it light blue, but it probably has a name, but I'm just, that's light blue for me and then white, or at least, well, sort of beige-ish white. But yeah, I really don't know why I started building all of these buildings in beige. Well, basically all of the things that I built usually end up being some kind of beige. I mean, it is one color that's very easily blendable, I would say. It's a very neutral color, so it's just like very easy to just add to a building without it looking, well, bam in your face. Doesn't really pop out that much, so it easily blends in and then you have these pop of colors with like this light-ish blue, which again has a name, but I don't know, don't really care too much. Also, this is I think the first building that I've actually thought about to guess, because the vineyard building has a juice shop, or at least I'm going to say juice shop, but let's face it, they sell wine, because it's a vineyard. I also actually made sure, because again, I love to show like, the actual production processes, like these tiny little things that most of the time you don't see in a zoo, most of the time you just don't build I would say, but I just love it. So I actually made a, well I wanted to say wine press, but I didn't really want to actually have like a mechanical press being built, or at least I didn't want to build one of those, so uh, yeah, who's ready to get their feet wet to stomp grapes, because that's basically what I built, just giant tubs and then just made it into a wine press thing. Don't know really what's the real name of it, but moving on from that, so yeah, giant tops where I actually later on tried to find a piece that really looks like grapes, which again isn't really that necessary when you're building for Planet Zoo. I mean, when you're just in general building, I don't think those very tiny things matter, but again, I really like to basically have these tiny aspects of like a production process. Did the same with Isla Pacifica with the sugar production, so I wanted to do that here as well. And I originally thought for because the top that you actually stand in and well, basically you mush the grapes by foot. I originally wanted to actually build like a step or a stairway going up. In the end, I just thought like, no, that's a little bit too fancy, so I just made a ladder. And then you get up into the top and just stomp the grapes. Because I didn't want to build a wine press, because I, I don't know, I just didn't feel like this area really needed a wine press, or at least Kean al -Bashar. Probably they have the, the like, techniques and such for it, but I mean, in some areas in France, I still think that they used like the original way or like just stomping on grapes. I also think it looks just really fun to do, just stomping or mashing grapes. But anyway, so yeah, I really tried for a long time to actually find a piece that could work for grapes. Yeah, I wanted to get those tiny details in there. And then I found those Indian flower baskets actually, which I haven't really used anywhere in Kern al -Bishar. Even in like the market clutter thing that I have, I haven't used these flower baskets. But then if you look afar from them and paint them the right way, they actually kind of look like grapes. So I also did not really know that these were colorable, so 
I mean, I'm happy. I have grapes now. This also makes me sort of make sense of the actual vineyard or like the grapevines because I didn't or wasn't able to actually make grapes visible on the vine itself. So now it just looks like the harvest has come and gone and there are no grapes anymore on the actual vines. But they are all like ready to be basically mashed. I'm also curious for some reason but grapes aren't really the only one that can be made into wine or in like an alcoholic beverage right? Am I wrong here or because I just think that there were other beverages made from different fruits that could be or at least are alcoholic because I don't know again if I'm wrong here but isn't it just because there's like a sugar in the fruit that's after a while when like ferment or fermenting or just processing becomes alcoholic. Don't know if I'm wrong here, but please do let me know if I am not, <laughs> let's just say that. And if I am, just, you know, shout in the comments. I really want to see how some people would make it seem like a comment is shouting at me. Like I'm just interested in how you would make a comment appear like it's shouting and not try the easy way of making it all caps. Try to be creative. <laughs> but anyway, so of course, the well, the harvest has come and gone and now they're processing the grapes. So in the lower top that actually, well, the higher top where you actually mash the grapes does drain into the lower one. But there is basically my attempt at making it look like a sort of liquidy stuff. It's not really processed yet, so it can look like grainy and then let's just say that it sort of started to appear like there was actual like wine being made here. And I also made like a storage thing for the actual grapes. I saw this somewhere, I don't know where, this is a very old idea that I had. So I don't really know where they came from anymore but I saw these like storage, well they're somewhat barrels but also not really but they somewhat are but I basically just put them everywhere that I could imagine grapes being stored and also because I forgot to build the actual like vines and the actual like vineyards when it comes to like the actual vines I made an extra island this island wasn't planned at all but it actually works out great because now I could also put like a actual docking area for a ship here so that the grapes or the wine, because I don't think the grapes would be transported, they would be processed here. But the wine can be transported to like the actual city and then can actually be, well, sold, of course. Because that's, I think, the main thing with the, the wine that's being made here. It's to be sold. And it's, of course, very exclusive because here is the second time I mentioned the lions that are actually in this habitat. The lions are supposed to protect the secrets of the wine being made here. So yes, it's a very exclusive wine that probably only like the royalty and the nobility of Khan al Bijar are allowed to taste. So let's just say um, Kane might taste it, Terra might taste it, and then most of you guys don't. <laughs> well, unless I like snap halfway through and then build a manor for you guys. Well. Hmm, maybe that's going to happen for one or two of you guys, but yeah, let's move on. So, built an actual extra island with some oranges because maybe they're being used also as ingredients for any wine. We will never know because we will get eaten by the lions. Well, I won't, but you guys probably will. But also try to make this island a little bit more. Well, let's just say the rest of the vineyard isn't really done yet. But I wanted to make sure that this island really represents completely what I wanted to do with the actual vineyard. But anyway, so that's mostly it actually. So I am already going to announce that maybe this Sunday, instead of having a speed build of Khan al Bashar, we might tour Khan al Bashar. Because I have some things that are coming in when it comes to like my setup that I wanted to test out and I want you guys to be the guinea pig. So. Yeah, that's actually with most builds. I throw it out there and see what you guys do with it. Or basically how you guys react to it. I mean, that's basically the premise of YouTube. So 
yeah, maybe this Sunday there won't be a speed build, but there will be a tour. How are you guys feeling about that? So basically I have now three questions. Try and make a common scream without using caps. What is the next habitat going to be? Or at least that's basically a guessing game. And then would you guys want a tour of Khan al Bashar or basically the palace area instead of a speed build this Sunday? Because let's face it, I still need to finish up the actual vineyard still. So yeah, I have a lot of work to do. So the next habitat or the secret habitat is probably going to be a little bit of smaller build. But anyway, that's going to be it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you want to see more. Or if you just want to hit buttons, because as a squirrel, I know that it can be fun to just click buttons. But anyway, that's going to be it. So I wish you all an amazing day. Take care of yourself and stay safe during these times. And yeah, have an amazing day. Bye bye.